Hello, my loves. Welcome to your uh, weekly love reading for March 1st to March 7th. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, I'm sorry that everything is so bare and blank. I was supposed to move on March 1st, but I got pushed to April 1st, which it's fine by me. Who the hell wants to move in the middle of Mercury retrograde, right? So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Libras, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Libras, March 1st through March 7th, please, Holy Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Libras, please, March 1st to March 7th? So, guys... If you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose, we have the Knight of Cups that just came out. Uh, I do choose multiple winners every week. We changed it to weekly now. So we're gonna be doing it every Sunday, the giveaway. Um, it is uh, readings. I give away personal readings, tarot cards, oracle cards, jewelry, Palo Santo, sage. So that's going to be happening every Sunday. Okay, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell, share um, to enter a chance to win. Okay. If you would like to book me for a personal reading, follow me on Instagram, check out my Timeless Collective readings, check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing, check out my tarot collection. It is all in the description box below, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first card out here, we've got the moon, Pisces, Cancerian Energy, and the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. The Four of Cups. And the Strength card, Leo energy. So I'm feeling, guys, that recently you have felt like your intuition is telling you that you're better off by yourself. You're better off alone. Um... I feel like you're feeling um, that you, you're giving to something that is just literally not giving anything back. You're just pouring into something, like pouring a lot of love, time, energy into something that's not giving back. With the strength card here and the four of pentacles, you have this overwhelming urge to want to hold back. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here may be very immature because we have you coming in here as a pre-empress and this person is coming in as a page. And with the nine of wands under the deck here, I feel that, you know, you're tired. You're tired. I feel like this person is expecting too much out of you with the seven of cups here and the nine of wands. They're just taking and taking and taking with the seven of swords. And I feel that you've just had enough. You're making a final decision here that... You want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? With that three of cups, you're making a final decision that you want to be happy. You may be taking a leap of faith and moving towards new love or taking an opportunity, going out on a date. Um, and, and you may end up juggling this person with someone else. Or Libra, you know, this could be, um, this could be, you know, you or your person, but someone here is definitely uh, there could be an age difference between you and this person or it could be uh you know emotional immaturity where there's a big difference here libra and i feel that you're just you're feeling like you're alone in the connection like if you're the one doing everything it's just like this person's not bringing anything to the table and your intuition is really screaming at you. This is a very strong feeling of it's time to pull back a little bit. It's time to pull back a little bit because this person is, a, they're childish. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is acting childish. That could be you. It could be your person. Um, but I feel here that, you know, someone here is putting a wall up. They just don't want to hear it anymore. Okay. They don't want to hear it anymore. There may be, um, this person may make a lot of promises causing a lot of illusion. And uh, I feel like all they do is take all they do is take and and you just you want to be happy you want to go out you want to have a good time you want to celebrate life and you're making the final decision that maybe the time has come to start looking at new love to take that leap of faith to move on and with the two of pentacles right now 
I feel that for a lot of you, you haven't left this person completely. You have like one foot in, foot in the door, one foot out of the door. You're, you're very undecided. Yeah. But I feel like, you see, you're coming in as pre-empress. I feel like you're looking for an emperor and you're with the page of wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You know what I'm saying? You're, it, it's too totally, I mean, this person isn't even coming up as a knight. They're not coming up as a king. They're coming up as a page. So this person just brings so little to the connection so little to the connection and this could be a friend a family member work partner whatever it is there's a relationship here where libra you are giving a lot and you guys are very diplomatic you're very much about balance um you are, you know, but you're also very kind, caring, and giving. So I feel that Libra, you don't mind putting in a little bit extra work, but this is ridiculous. You know, this is ridiculous. Um, you know, you're actually contemplating just moving on towards something new. You're, you're really just like, this isn't going anywhere. And I'm feeling like you just don't want to hear anything that this person has to say. Like this person is talking and you're like, bullshit. Bullshit. I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. This is literally going to be the name of this video. You're just like, it's all just bullshit. You know, all you do is take and take and take and take and take. Um, I feel like maybe this person like takes from you and then maybe goes out and you know, this person could definitely be in a, you know, like a third party. This person may even cheat on you with that seven of swords and that three of cups. And you may know this. You may know that, you know what I'm saying, this person, like, they make a lot of promises and then they just go and run off. Maybe they, you know, it's, it's just this energy of this person says one thing and then does, like, the total opposite. They do the total opposite. Yeah, see, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like you're starting to look at other people. Like, it's actually starting to hit you. Like, this person is just really deceptive. They say one thing, do another, and you're just over it here you're just over it here you you feel like you know what i'm saying you're looking for a soulmate and with getting to know each other you're looking at someone new here as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens there may be um yeah see spirit is advising you to with that honeymoon card here um to move on free yourself time to take back control of your life pa i get a, i'm getting a past life soulmate here you have someone here if you haven't met this person yet they're coming in libra i feel like you're you're leaving a very immature relationship somebody that is definitely not at your maturity level or at the level that you're at you know you're pre-empress you're regular you're you know you're good you have your nine pentacles you're just waiting for that one pentacle to be at your ten of pentacles and for those of you that are new to tarot the ten of pentacles is the maximum you know abundance that you can be at and i feel here libra that you're no you're, you're actually starting to manifest you know you're calling in a soulmate here um, you know, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You're calling in a soulmate. You know what I'm saying? You're starting to think of, you know, manifest someone different into your life because you're just getting tired. You're getting, literally getting tired of this person. I just keep hearing the word bullshit. Someone out there is literally just telling their person bullshit. It's just all bullshit. Everything you have to say is bullshit. They open their mouth and you're like, don't even speak because I already know it's bullshit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here, that's like their favorite word. You know, like it, it's just, they're just telling their per. this is just all bullshit. This is bullshit. That's bullshit. Everything is just bullshit. Everything that you have to say is just bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just, you know. You're freeing yourself because I feel like there, there's definitely with getting to know each other in that Ace of Cups. Um, yeah, I, I feel like you're going to forgive this person. You, you know, listen, I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you or your bullshit. I'm mad at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to forgive you from my own, you know, because as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. For your own sake, Libra, you're smart enough to know that you just forgive, release, let go. You know what I'm saying? With release your ex there, you're going to forgive it. You're going to let it go. You're going to let go of trying to control the situation because I feel that you've spent some time like telling this person, don't do this and do this and don't do that. Like you're starting to feel a little bit more like a parent than you are their actual 
person. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be in a relationship where you constantly have to tell somebody what needs to be done or how to treat you, or how to be a man, how to be a woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want a relationship like that. You just want somebody that like knows how to act. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel that you're just letting go. You don't want to, you don't want to try to control the situation anymore. You don't want to tell this person what to do, where to go, how to act, what to say. You know what I'm saying? It's just this person, you know, they, they, like I said, they talk a lot and then, you know, they just go run off and do dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? This person maybe like, you know, starts a fight and then goes and runs off with their friend. Like maybe they spark a fight with you just to go out with their friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm grown. I know what you're doing. Stop it. It's stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, it's just immature. It's immature. And you need safety. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for safety. You're looking for stability. So I do see you leaving behind something very, that's just not at your level. It's not like this is a bad person. They're just young or they have a very young mentality and they're just not at your level libra but i do feel that you are calling in a soulmate i do see new love on the horizon i do see a past life uh soulmate connection um coming in and um you may not know this person yet you may not be there but you've got your foot out the door you know what i'm saying it's coming okay all right guys i hope you enjoyed i love you please be sure to like share comment subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye